All right, we are on the Whisper. This is story mode, uh, of course, so we're going to use magic against this guy. You do need to bring the little uh, icon thing that uh, you use through the quest to go back and forth through the Shadow Realm. Uh, I was using the Trident for damaging, and then I brought an Ancient Scepter for freezing in between phases. So this one was the most difficult of the four bosses for me. It took me uh, quite a few attempts so basically what we're going to do is, uh, once you disturb him, you're going to run kind of to the outskirts of the arena. During the main damage phase, you're you're going to want to be closer to the edge just because less of his little waves spawn. So he's going to attack with three of the same kind of attack. You can see the blue ones there are magic, the red ones that he'll do are ranged. And after those three, you just need to step one square out of range of the waves that he's creating. And you can kind of, once you get... In a, in a rhythm, you'll see that it'll be kind of the same spot that you go back and forth in between. Uh, sometimes it, it'll be diagonal and back, sometimes it'll be just straight left or right and back. All right, so this is his first special phase, or one of one of the special phases, I guess. These lighter green ones are the ones that you want to step on. You have to squish all of these lighter green ones before the bar above his head uh, goes away. So I, of course, did a clumsy job of this because I was just trying to get it done. But it's similar to uh, like what you do in uh, the TOA raid. So just go and uh, get the green, uh, green orbs. If you do run into a non-light green orb, it just does a few damage. Uh, not a big deal. But after the phase ends, this is when I switch to Ancients. and Because uh, he's going to root you, and then he's going to run at you. And if he gets close to you, he'll melee you rapid fire for a lot. So if you can freeze him, that's great. You can get a few attacks in. Uh, before he starts attacking again. All right, so after that uh, first special phase, then he's going to do uh, two of one type and then one of the other. So you can see there was mage, mage, range, and we'll see what he does here. Yeah, mage, mage, range. And then after that last attack, just step out of the way. Uh, if you find yourself watching your prayers, make sure you have sound on so that you can see when the attacks, or hear when the attacks are hitting you so you know when to switch to the uh, to the third one. And this just takes a little trial and error, but uh, so here's the next one. This one is pillars. So you're going to use your item again, the uh, that little item in the top left. At the start of each special phase, you're going to want to use that. That's how I was able to see the the light green orbs. I didn't mention that. I don't think so. Here you can see all the pillars have different health. So you want he's going to do three blast waves, and you want the third one. Uh, you want to end up behind this one on the third one. So if you can try to get behind one like uh, with not as much health, or if you go behind this one, it would be fine, and then this one, and then this one. But if you went right to this one, he'll destroy them all at once. So you have to kind of start with the lower health ones and work your way up uh, to the higher health ones. So we block the shockwave there. We'll stand behind this one, block another shockwave, and to the final one. All right, so then we're going to try and freeze them again or just run away. You can just run away as far as you want. Like, I think that's what I did here. So, yeah, just ran as far as far away as I could and tried to get a, a cast off before the, the next damage dealing phase started. All right, so this one again is two range and, and that or two of one type and then one of the other. So mage, mage, range. And we're just going to step away one one square at a time again. See that that time I wanted to go right or left instead of diagonal, so just kind of keep an eye on there. It's it's easiest if you go back and forth between two, but you can mix it up once you get the hang of it. All right, so this one he spawns a bunch of little guys, and you, once you use your item here, they'll start saying things above their head. You want to kill the light yellow ones that say Vita, and if you don't kill both of them, uh, you're going to take quite a bit of damage. And every every time you mess up on anything, you start losing sanity. If your sanity gets to zero, the fight's over. You just have to teleport away because he's going to do a ton of damage to you. So, all right, back to uh, uh, this phase again, the damage dealing phase. It hurts me. Thankfully, I got a freeze off on there. And once you get him down to zero, also. Uh, Oh uh, yeah, I should mention he starts doing uh, a different pattern here. He's going to alternate attack styles each uh, time. So I really stared at my prayers uh, for this one to make sure I tried to click correctly and relied on sound effects for uh, knowing when uh, to switch back and forth. I did an okay job on that. Uh, so yeah, once he gets down to zero, then he enrages, and that's that's the part that I kept dying at because it it uh, things get a little crazy. But if you try to just slow down and think about your prayers to start, 
um, you'll do better. So he's he's going to start uh, sending two ranges and then two mages and two ranges. He's just going to keep alternating uh, after two attacks. He'll change attack style. Well, he keep continues to summon the tentacles. So uh, eventually, I found for me it worked best to just kind of run in a circle around him, and I didn't get hit by as many uh, tentacles, which saved my sanity. So uh, you can see he's doing mage, and then he'll do mage again, and then a range. So if you can focus on uh, prayers and trying to run away from the tentacles the first few times you do this, eventually it won't be uh, as uh, chaotic or as, you, know, you won't feel like it's as out of control. I got a little off there, but I saw that he was close to dead, so I just tried to get in a last attack there and thankfully finally killed him and can move on to the, the final fight of the quest. Alright, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the post-quest boss guides.